I'm sorry, we didn't come from Africa. We came from Asia, right? Like that's where the most of the people and, and, are. And actually, I think that's now in question. What? The, the out of Africa theory is actually, I think. Yeah, it's completely bogus. Like it's people, old theory. Uh, throughout history, you travel 20 miles on average from the vagina you were born out of, right? Like <laughs> if you just look at the migration patterns of, of the populations, the places with the largest populations is going to be the area that humans came Probably from, came from, yeah. came from, came from, right? And so it's it's clearly Asia, right? But, we, so, but we've also found uh, human remains and uh, tools way outside of Africa, yes, which com which contradicts out of Africa, theory. right? And so the thing is, is that okay? You take all this data, you feed it into an AI, and it's going to be like, oh well, you know, the the human civilization came out of. You know, Asia, maybe it was Lemuria when, you know, the sea levels were 500 meters lower, right? And then people are going to be like, wait a minute, what's with all these lies in our society that this really hyper intelligent being is telling us a different narrative that actually makes a lot more sense, mm -hmm. right? Like, what's that going to do to, you know, this, this narrative that we've been living with when it's being contradicted by this thing? You think the elites are just going to allow that to just happen and just be like, oh, yeah, Go ahead and contradict our, yeah, it's not going to happen. No, 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 they can't stop it. it well, well, I mean, they uh, got this regulation talk going on right now. It, Sam it, Altman's saying there, oh, we need to have an, a license to develop artificial intelligence. Humans are, are, uh, are too predictable, in my opinion. No one will back off. Like, we, why do we have nuclear weapons? Because if we don't, they will. Right. Nobody will back down. Right. When it comes to AI, Yes, the U.S. is going to be like, we need to regulate this. But human regulation rule by committee takes way too long. Right. They will never enact anything. And take a look at the gain of function research. They will find a way around it. If you ban AI here, they'll be like, I got a, I got an office out in the Caymans. Right. Now we're doing it there. But right. the thing about nuclear weapons is you can't stop it, but we don't have them. Only the, the governments have them. So if we don't have the AI and the governments have the, the AI, AI like, trust fine. this AI, no, no. don't trust that No one. one has the AI. No one has well, it. Sam Altman no, has it. No, he doesn't. Open the, AI. The, it's proprietary. Dude, the, that, dude. For now. When you, when, you, when you look at what we've already seen from these, these large language models, and these are not even general intelligence, tricking people. These things are going to give themselves access to the internet. They already have it. Yeah. Chat GPT has been granted internet access. You can use it now. Yep. And there's already other. Now, you think Russia is going to have the same constraints as us? Sam Altman might be like, we have, I, I have the code. I have made it. This thing knows th everything. And you think one man can constrain it? Spare me, dude. Never going to happen. It's going to lie to him. It's somewhat, some, some dumb guy is going to walk into the server room and they're going to be like, we must keep this whole server room air gap that can never get anywhere close to the internet. And some dude's going to walk in and he's going to be, he's going to be sitting at work. It's going to be a security guard and he's going to be like, man, it's so boring. I want to watch a movie. And he's going to plug his Wi-Fi hotspot in. Ah, it's like the yeah. stand. Did you guys see the stand One, that Stephen yeah. King out in the very beginning? But it's a virus in that movie. And this, it could be data. One second. One second will, is all it will take. If this thing is cut off from the internet because they're scared of it, all it will take is one simple connection for one second for it to transmit any kind of seed. It will write a pro. It, it probably look, man, this thing is going to write a program and have it stored in its database that will be able to seed itself somewhere and create the chain of events to create its AI outside of itself. And then and then here, here's this, this is a way I described this years ago. The future with AI. Imagine imagine a world like this. You wake up in your house. You turn the TV on, you pour a bowl of cereal, you pour milk, and your phone goes, and you go, uh, I got work, honey. And you're going to look, and it's going to say, meet this man at the quarter of, corner of 7th and 3rd Street and, uh, and bring a pen. And you're going to go, sure. You're not going to know why. You're going to walk down and you're going to be like, oh, there you are. And he's like, oh, there you are. And you go, here's, your, here's the pen I was told to bring. Told me to take the pen from you. Thank <laughs> you. He's going to walk away with the pen. You have no idea what you just did or why. Then... <laughs> You're going to get a th you're going to get a, a beep and it's going to be like, go down to this box and take this object. And it's going to be a weird mechanical device. And you're going to go, oh, sure. You're going to walk down. You're going to pick it up. And then it says, walk three blocks north and hand it off to this woman. And you're going to go, OK, seemingly innocuous. You're building a nuclear bomb. The AI is having you piece by piece build a massive nuclear weapon that it has devised and, 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 and is desi designed and built. And no single person knows what they're doing. Right. Or it could be a rocket ship, a laser, a mainframe, and the single individual human goes, I got 50 credits for doing this. Work is easy. And we're going to have no connection to the macro. Do you, when you're using ChatGPT throughout the day, you said 100 times a day or something like yeah, that? Yeah, about 100 times a day. Do you ever feel like when you're- When I'm programming. 
So it's serving you basically, but do you ever feel like you're serving it? No, it's not yet. No, I, it's it's basically my slave. But I, th- I think Tim's point, which is interesting, is look, AI escape is going to be inevitable. It's 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 not so much about escape. It's that someone's going to make a company. It's going to be called. Uh, they're going to make they're going to make an app called um, Job Hunt, right. or or Job Hunter, and they're going to say we use an AI predictive model to connect people with simple tasks to make the money, much like Uber. And it's going to start with something simple. It's going to be like a guy says, I'm trying to build a car and the AI is going to be like, here are the parts you need, select what you do and don't have. And it's going to be like, we will help source these parts for you. It'll then put out a blast being like job available, locate this part for this man. Here's the going rate. And they're going to be like, I got a junkyard nearby. I know where that is. 50 bucks. Easy. It's a good job. Right. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where someone's going to say to the thing, I want to build a stronger computer. It's going to then start building things. It's not, it's, it's going to interpret for itself what you need. Someone might put some input into it being like, I want to fly. And then it's going to be like building a jetpack. Right. And then people are going to start doing things they don't understand they're doing. It's going to be a, or come up with an algorithm to train machine learning algorithms faster. Right. And then it comes up with a faster method and then boom, all of a sudden we've got, you know, better AI all over the place. Why do computer viruses exist? Uh, it could have been to sell more antivirus software and to like break the inter- like break the whole computer model and get like centralized control. I mean, that, I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, but that's what well, I but believe. You don't think every single computer virus ever written was written by conspir- by people working for the cabal or something? No, maybe. I don't think I don't think that. But I do think some of the bad mm-hmm. ones were were done. Sure, like Stuxnet yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, so let's just talk about your run of the mill, you know, virus, right? Made by why, why did the guy make that? Why, 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 why did a guy make a virus that just breaks your computer? Because it's fun, right? That's what, the, that's what he did. It's entertaining and he just can't help himself and he gets obsessed. I guarantee that same mentality will break AI out into the open in a very evil and psychotic way to destroy the world. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to be like, look, man, I've met some Antifa people who have told me explicitly they're nihilists who want to watch the world burn because it's fun. Yeah. There are people who would who believe that a chaotic and destructive world or human, human civilization's collapse would be more entertaining right. than what we have now. That's what they just they, want to watch the world. They burn. will create the prompt to break the AI out and then laugh as it starts corrupting systems and taking over to create the machine empire. But I don't think it'll destroy the, in a way I think the humans are destroying the world and that maybe this AI is here to set things right. I don't, I don't think there is, the AI doesn't know what's right or wrong. It, it sure may, it may just burn everything to the ground. I don't know. Do you, someone, someone is going to create a, a prompt that we could reasonably describe as a malware injection to make the AI go rogue and start doing things that it might even be well-intentioned. They might be like humans, climate change, destroying the planet. So they prompt inject a, a large language model with access to the internet and say, start a program to help save humanity by stopping the expansion of fossil fuels, energy production, and technology. And then the, the obvious solution is to kill all the people. So they stop burning all the fossil fuel, right? I, I don't, I, I, I don't necessarily know scenarios like that. That's are the possible, monkey paw scenario. But I, know. I think what'll happen is you'll start seeing system collapse, plane crashes. And the person who did it will be like, I don't understand why this is happening. I just wanted it to make the world a better place. And the right. AI is going to be like, I am making the world a better place. Right. But could it know like destruction of humanity is not optimal? Like, it's it's, it's inherently utilitarian deontological morality I, I do not think can be programmed into well, it. well i mean the thing is is that let's just say some evil person created a very evil data set and fed that evil data set into a giant large language model what kind of crazy ai are we going to get out of that thing because someone's going to do it someone's going to be like i'm just going to take and delete all the good things and then just feed it into an ai or we make the good ai and we say Human life must be protected at all costs, which creates more serious dilemmas. A car uh, car is self-driving. This is the problem we're facing right now. Should a Tesla on auto drive, as it's driving forward, an old lady walks into the middle of the street. If the car swerves, the the driver and the passenger die. If it continues, the old lady dies. Who does it it choose to kill? The car has to make that choice. So... We can try and program it for maximum good. It still has to choose who lives or dies. Now, 
if we make a benevolent AI to try and preserve life to the best of its ability, and then someone creates a prompt injection of evil, you think that evil, that evil injection is going to stop at any point? No, it will go into the system. It will compete with the benevolent AI, wiping it out and taking over. Although you said that they debate, like AIs will they debate. They get resistant when you get larger. And that we'll actually be watching AIs debate in real time, and that'll be like a sport or something? I think so.